finally going on a walk. Haven't been outside in six or seven days. <laughs> oh, I just knew it was gonna get in the mud because that's just, that just wouldn't be right if he didn't get in the mud. good to just know that air, the things you take for granted, the things that God gives us every single day, take for granted. I was just thinking too, like, people you can't see right now, you always say, you're going to see them, you're going to see them, and talk to them. I've talked more to my parents now than I ever have they're over an hour away and I can't see them now and you take for granted when you could see them and just the simple things in life like walking your dogs just getting out smelling the fresh air a little bit of sun not too much sun out today but a little bit a little bit the beans. Black beans. <laughs> I'm just enjoying being out. I've been locked up like we have. <laughs> good it's been good to go back to the old traditions where you stayed home and you watch tv and you cooked at home and prayed romans 8 28 says that god will turn what was meant for bad into good and i really think he is I was amazed to see that river in Italy that you can now see the fish and the water so clear and just people getting closer to God and it's amazing. It's definitely is making it into something good and Hopefully again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I just hope that they hurry up and do the stimulus for the people because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are hurting right now. They need to be helped and just hoping that, I think the last I heard they said three weeks and that was early or mid last week. So I'm hoping that any times, sometime soon that'll happen. Okay, well, I gotta go because she's pooing. Doesn't our dog look like he has uh, elephant ears and then his tail is the trunk? <laughs> Poor baby, he's way up there. They're tired, we're tired. The good thing about all of this is that we're able to get some stuff done that we hadn't gotten done before pretty out there just a bunch of nothing and I'm gonna show you these mirrors that I had bought from Bed Bath & Beyond that I'd been waiting for my husband to hang I bought them about three or four months ago I think <laughs> he's looking at me like what it wasn't that long ago it was at least three months oh he's saying two two months they're really nice I really like the way they look so just thought I'd come on here and hope you all are doing great and the last thing I want to say is I know it's good to be preventative and proactive but it's not good to self 
diagnose. And so I think it's good if you're feeling something to call the numbers that they have provided and to follow the protocol, which is to call and not go in in case you are symptomatic. And I know a lot of people say, oh, go out in the sun, drink warm drinks. I, I think I've heard it all. There's no remedy at the present time. The best thing, like I said, to be preven preventative and proactive is wash your hands. Don't touch your face when you're out and about. Spray your packages. Clean your groceries. And just be as anal retentive as you ever have been in your whole entire life. And trust God and believe that this too shall pass. Okay, so here are the mirrors that I bought. And they look so pretty. I do kind of scare myself sometimes when I'm not ready for them to see my reflection. <laughs> but they're really nice. I bought them from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and they were originally $50 each. And I think I bought them for $24 each one. They're really nice. I really like them. And amazingly, they make the room look bigger for some reason. But they look like just windows at night. They look like windows. So anyway, that's it for today, y'all. Take care and God bless. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.